Hey everyone, it's Jennifer Roberts here and I am the Pod Queen. Now today, I've got a special treat. I have guests! Yay! Pod Queen has friends, you guys. <laughs> Her kingdom is full of many people. And today we have Blair and Tim, or Cabana Boy and Farm Girl. You decide. Mm -hmm. And so it is an honor to have you on my major television show. Thanks, yeah. guys, for joining me. Good to be here. I know, big deal. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk to Blair and Tim about marriage. And so yeah. you guys have been married how long now? A uh, year and eight months. Wow. Almost, experts. Yeah, Almost. experts. You're ready yeah. to write the book. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Almost ready. Yeah, two months yeah. away from writing a book. Yeah, sure. yeah. 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 they're owning it, guys. Listen to them. Yeah. And so I wanted to have you guys because I respect you. I love you. I think your relationship is great and healthy. And for the viewers, you need to hear from different types of people. I mean, I've been married 25 years. They've been married less than two years. So it's good to hear perspective. So I wanted to ask you guys. You ready? Mm -hmm. Ready. Hit us. Let's go. Okay. Let's, Let's go lean there. in. Let's go there. <laughs> so tell me what's the biggest surprise about marriage? Well, I think for me as a woman, the biggest surprise was, well, first of all, I got into marriage and I thought, man, I have got it going on. Like, yeah. I got my stuff together. Right. And you were ready. I clearly knows it. <laughs> and you, you you get into it and you realize, whoa, like I have a I have some stuff going on. Uh -huh. And I think the biggest surprise for me was realizing how much I'm ruled by expectations uh -huh. and how much I really live in a place that's not reality a lot of times. Right. In my mind. Yeah. Um what the perfect marriage looks yeah, like, for example. Perfect marriage, lots of different aspects of marriage. What I it's either what he isn't doing that I expect him to do or what he is doing that I expect he doesn't do. You uh -huh. know? So it's it's like pick his nose. Yeah. No. <laughs> pick no. sticker. No. <laughs> just kidding. Sorry, go on. Yeah, so just I think expectations are a trap. And it's yeah. actually, when you fall into the trap of expectations, it's not loving your spouse because you're stuck measuring them to this yeah. standard that they yeah. have no idea about and seeing where they fall short of that. And you actually, you're living in a place that's not real yeah. and you're missing what is real. You're missing the present moment, that person that's in front of you, yeah. loving you and instead comparing them to what they're not doing in this Reality right, in my this head. fantasy. It's not real, yeah. yeah. And so I think soon in marriage we realized that was a trap for me. I really struggled yeah. with a lot, and he got to help me. Yeah, so expectations is kill a trap. Love. They kill that's powerful. Intimacy. Yeah. yeah, that's good. So, so, Tim, what about you? What was the biggest surprise? I think the biggest surprise for me was. All of a sudden, I started living with someone uh -huh. that was far more emotional than I was. Okay. And so things affected her much different. Right. Where I would pass them off and forget about them. She would hang on to those things, uh -huh. think about them, and they would they would kind of drive her life a little bit. So you guys were just wired differently. Really different. Yeah. Really different. And so what did you do? Like, did you fix her? <laughs> <laughs> did you change her, Tim? I tried. For for a while, I was scared. I didn't know ah, what to do. Okay, so it's new. So it was new, and I'm just like, I don't know what to do with all these emotions. They're yeah. not mine, but they are in front of me every day. Right. And so I can't just leave them there because they're always going to be there. Right. Right. And so I slowly learned that I just started asking questions. Okay. Like. Why are you crying? <laughs> Just those the obvious things, right? It wasn't like, rocket science. It wasn't. It really <laughs> wasn't. It was simple. Yeah. But I just, I did not understand her. Uh huh. And her, the way she handled emotions. Right. And it was very difficult for me to understand. Right. So the more questions I asked, the more I understood. And we both realized that we would just talk about it like mm -hmm. it's, things aren't that big of a deal when you really talk them out. Right. And Communication is key, yeah. isn't it? And so she had things inside of her head, I had things inside of my head, and we were just kind of at a distance with yeah. the emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once we came together and started talking about them, I feel like right. there was a lot more freedom. Right. She felt safer, and I felt like I understood her more. Right. Hear that, everyone? Communication is key. Mm -hmm. They had to talk about those awkward emotions. Mm -hmm. Super I'm awkward. sure there was tension, right? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. if you're not understanding yeah. her, then she's not understanding you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So there's like, who is this, and did I marry an alien? Yeah. Hmm. But yet they're in love. See, yeah, it's good. Sure. And so, talk about your dating season. What what was that like? Because yeah. we got some people are married watching, some people that are dating. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think about dating? Or I we we had a great opportunity. Yeah. We were friends for years. Mm -hmm. uh, we worked together. We started developing friendships with other people that we started hanging out with together. Right. So we didn't have like. There wasn't a lot of emotional attachment. There wasn't sure. any flirting going on. Uh -huh. It was just like we're working together. I'm yeah. getting to know this person. We without an agenda. Yeah, mm -hmm. no agenda. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so we enjoyed each other. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. Yeah, yeah. I think um, we we had a really sweet just work relationship. We had a lot of similar passions, and mm -hmm. as in work, we got to actually set goals. In, yeah. It was ministry, and we got to set goals and then labor together in prayer as a team with practical tasks, yeah. but actually like co-laboring together yeah. in the kingdom, just as friends. Yeah. And in that context, we both were in Brazil working, and that's a whole separate story, but we really got to build a friendship. Mm -hmm. And I think I saw in Tim a guy who, when we, when we finally started dating, I 100% knew that he respected me, yeah. that he cared about me, that he saw who I was in the Lord and he celebrated that yeah. instead of being threatened by it. And I, I, I knew this man. I'd seen his walk with yeah. the Lord. I'd seen the way he, he carried himself mm -hmm. with women. He wasn't flirtatious. He, he was honoring and respectful of right. women. And there were so many intangible things that he never said to me that I saw about his life. That right. when we started dating. Because you had opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so when we started dating, it just, it was such a natural transition into someone I already really cared about. Yeah. Um, to now get to see the depths of what was really going on in there and almost get to know him in a whole new way. Yeah. It was so dynamic and there was so much treasure that I got to really find at mm -hmm. that point. Mm -hmm. So how did you guys, just quickly, how did you make the transition from being such good friends to, oh gosh, I think I want to take this to the next level? You guys want to know, don't you? Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, it was a process. Mm -hmm. It was, there was probably about six months there where the thoughts started coming into my mind where I'm like, Blair, interesting. Huh. And so, I was his boss. And she was my boss. Bonus! So there was a little bit of intimidation, uh -huh. but it was still like people would say things. And there was a lot of people that saw things in us that we didn't see. Uh -huh. We didn't make the connection as quick as other people did. Sure. Mm -hmm. And so there was a lot of that going on around both of us separately. I like this story. A little bit of drama. Yeah. <laughs> Boss, <laughs> dates, co or you know, insubordinate. No, a subordinate, yeah, right? Subordinate. Insubordinate, no. Yeah, subordinate. I like it. Girls, don't be ashamed of that. If you're at the yeah. office right now watching this, look with fresh eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's all we have time for today. Yeah. It was just quick, just a quick interview. But I loved it, guys. Thank yeah, you. I Thanks for being, being honest here. and real. Yeah. And the, uh, you guys, this gives you courage, doesn't it? Like they're just like you mm -hmm. and they're making it. Thanks for being honest. I appreciate that. Yeah. This is what the Pod Queen and her friends think.